CNN and Time. Tonight, looking for perfection. Cosmetic surgery is booming. It's a tummy tuck that's going to give me the result I want. Sometimes when you have liposuction, if they take too much out down here, it can cause a bagginess. Carol Martin, a plastic surgery consultant, has seen her share of harm. Recently, I had a lady come to me, and she had a facelift where a wire was inserted down in her face, and when she touches her temple, the wire pushes out underneath her skin. Right now, on The Insider and Entertainment Tonight. From this to this, we followed Sonia back home after her surgery to look back at the life she left behind. With Sonia's Carol Martin, a plastic surgery consultant. This is the shirt oh that I gosh. wore when I went, the morning I went for my gastric bypass. Look, it's even wider than the door. How did you get in there? I had to turn to fit through the door. 6X. Yep. 6X big. Big. <laughs> now, insider cameras are following Sonia home from the hospital. Can she keep the weight off, or will the old Sonia return? Carol Martin, Sonia's plastic surgery consultant and author, discovers some of Sonia's diet habits die hard. Zebra cakes? Now those are pretty good. Oh my god. No, 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 no. no. Okay. This, 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 is, this has got to go. Here's a surprise. Carol bought Sonia her first ever high fashion skirt. Okay. Look at right. yourself. Oh my goodness. Did wow. you ever think you'd be in this? No. no. Step back and look a little bit. Never. You look great. I How can people who are considering plastic surgery get the best possible care? Well, joining me to talk about that is Carol Martin. You recognize her. She was a model and an actor and now a cosmetic surgery consultant. Carol, you actually speak from experience. I mean, it's hard to believe, looking at you so naturally beautiful, that you've had 10 procedures and you're happy to admit it. So, yes, I am. But at least we know that you actually did your homework and the legwork. When you're thinking about having cosmetic surgery, you just want to make sure that you tell the doctor everything about your health. Earlier, I talked with Carol Martin, who's created a unique job for herself as a cosmetic surgery consultant. Our company is called The Informed Choice. What are the first things that you tell them? Well, the first thing I tell them is, you got to understand, this is an operation. It is not like going to the dentist to have your tooth filled. You're watching the Health Network. Thank you so very much for joining us. Thanks, Judy, for having me. I am so curious, why did you become a consultant? Well, I realized people, because I've had a lot of cosmetic surgery, didn't really realize what they were getting into. And they needed to know, from a patient's perspective, what really goes on out there. I'm really a patient's advocate is what I am. All right. A cosmetic surgery consultant. I've had six cosmetic surgeries over a 20-year period. I've had my nose done, my eyes done, a breast augmentation, and liposuction twice. So Carol, the consultant, knows the other popular procedures. Another popular surgery is um, breast augmentation is making a big comeback. For men as well? Well, no, not for men, oh. just for women. But men are reducing breast size. This is called gynecomastia. It's when men develop breasts. I see. Lots of times it can be liposuction valve. Do your upper lids and your lower lids and possibly some laser resurfacing to get rid of these lines. She is, is a woman who has learned the rigors of cosmetic medical. surgery firsthand. You know, Seven times. I've had my nose done. I've had my upper eyes done, my lower eyes done. I have had a breast augmentation, had them made larger. I have had liposuction twice, and I just recently had a facelift two months ago. This is the weatherman. Right here is what I see that he might want to have corrected. Carol this Martin has way. trained her eye for what's possible. Oh, this man makes me nervous when I see him. He could lift that brow, possibly have a little skin removed. This is the weather gal, isn't it? She is perfect. Maybe she's had some work before. You have a little bit of um, asymmetry in your upper lid. Your right lid is a little bit heavier than your left. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. Maybe a little bit of liposuction here. Someone might suggest that. Martin here uses again. a surprising array of tools to advise her clients like magazines not known for their medical application. You've got to be able to communicate visually. I even tell women, if you have a girlfriend that has really beautiful breasts and you love them, take a Polaroid of them and she'll let you and say, I would love for mine to look like this. 